Welcome to News Splash and Fortress Media. Stay tuned as we take you through the news making waves today. I am Ulua Damlela Rahim. The terrorists that attacked the AKNI Abuja Kaduna train passengers on March 28 have released another seven hostages, including a family of six and a woman. The identities of the released family of six are Abubaka Idris Garba, his wife Miriam Abubaka Bobo, and their eldest son Ibrahim Abubaka Garba, who is 10 years old. Others include Fatima Abubaka Garba, seven, Imran Abubaka Garba, five, and the youngest. Zainab Abubakar Garba, who is only one and a half years old. Also released is a 60 years old woman, one Hajia Aisha Hazan, who was said to have been released due to life threatening health challenges that deteriorated recently. Although Tukurmamu, publish, publisher of the Kaduna, based Desert Herald and media consultant to a controversial Islamic cleric, Sheikh Hamad Gumi, withdrew as one of the negotiators. He confirmed the release of the seven hostages to journalists in Kaduna. Ghanaian President Nana Akufo Addo has denied writing a letter to the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, asking him to give the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, a chance in the forthcoming 2023 presidential elections. Akufo Addo also noted that he never told Tinubu to seek treatment for his health, as contained in the purported letter making the rounds on social media, advising people via his verified Twitter handle to disregard the fake report. The chairman of your state pilgrims welfare board, Professor Saeed Malik, has assured the state intending pilgrims who missed the 2022 Hajj of the board's readiness to refund the affairs. This is even as he further assured that those who do not wish to collect their money back will be given priority next year. He revealed this while briefing journalists on the 2022 Hajj report recently in his office at Olodo Ibadan. The chairman therefore said the board has commenced full payments to those who wish to take their money back irrespective of initial cost deduction for their inoculations, clothes, bags and, all, and some other charges. <music> On the state governor, Rotimi Akaridolu has insisted that the presidency of Nigeria must come to the south in 2023, not to thwart, not to thwart the power rotation arrangement in the country. Akiridolu said power rotation had been an unwritten agreement in the country since re since the return of the civil rule in 1999, saying that arrangement must be changed now. He said this on Wednesday at the one-year remembrance of Professor Bankole Oke of the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, University of Ibadan while delivering a lecture entitled Nigeria, the Politics of Religion in a Transitional Society. He advised Nigerians to make sure that the part did not return to the north under what he described as the guise of a party picking a southerner as its vice presidential candidate. Foreign scene, ammunition detonated at, the, at an airfield in Moscow annexed Crimea on Tuesday, but there were no victims, the Russian Defense Ministry said. The blast at the Saki airfield 
took place on the 176th day of Moscow military intervention in the Ukraine. Several aviation munition detonated near the settlement of Novo Fyodorivka, the defense ministry. The defense ministry said in a statement carried by a Russian news agency, as a result of Several aviation munition detonated near the settlement of Novo Fiorivka, the defense ministry, ministry said in a statement carried by Russian news agencies. As a result of the explosion, no one was hurt, the Russian defense ministry said. It was looking to establish the reason for the explosions, but indicated that the airfield was not targeted in an attack. According to the dramatic footage on social media, holidaymakers left the local beach in panic as large plumes of black smoke billowed into the sky. Car cars pushed to leave Novofiorivka as ambulances were dispatched to the scene. In entertainment, Nollywood filmmaker Otto Jama III is dead. The director of Inhibition 2019 was said to have died on Tuesday night following reports of his high blood prayer. The death of Ojama, who was in his early 30s, is coming barely a day after the death of the director of Ebony's Lives Blood Sister, B. Van Dele, a renowned movie <coughs> critic and film specialist Hussein Shaibu confirmed Ojama's death on his Instagram page on Wednesday. In sports, Chelsea's manager Thomas Tuchel is pushing co-owner Todd Bowley to bring in Pere Emerick Aubameyang from Barcelona this summer. This was confirmed by footballer transfer expert Fabrizio Romano on Wednesday via a tweet. According to Romano, Chelsea are considering Aubameyang as an option as revealed last week, but Barcelona have not yet received an official proposal yet. Aubameyang only joined Barca in January after his contract with Arsenal was terminated. Tuchel is more desperate than ever to bolster his attacking options. This follows the return of Timo Werner to RB Leipzig this week on a permanent deal. Romelu Lukaku already left for Inter Milan on a one-year deal. That ends News Splash and Fortress Media. For more trending stories, follow us on all our social media platforms at Fortress Radio 1 and our YouTube channel at Fortress Media 1 or download our app with the F logo from Google Play Store. I am Uluwadamilola Rahim. Thanks for listening. <laughs>